So what I thought we would do is run a nice mini um, training class for you. Really, really small, just a few exercises, a little bit of fun for a weekend um, so that I can, number one, include everyone that uses our pages and groups um, while we are on this you know, restricted um, time and also to help show some of you that are in our classes at the moment that might well be going on to online classes to continue your course to show you how it kind of looks and how it can work so you can get a chance to have a practice see if it feels okay for you if you're then happy to carry on with your classes you can if it just doesn't feel right for you or you're not too sure about it then obviously we'll talk about different options for you okay so what happens on an online class is I talk you through the exercise, same as I would in a class. Um, I will demonstrate it with my dogs, same as I would in a class. Um, the only difference is I don't see you practice straight away, okay? So the idea is that you hear what I'm saying, you have a look at the demonstrations that I give you. They're not always clear. My dogs often do strange things because um, I'm normally talking to the camera while I'm demonstrating at the same time. Um, and then you then have a practice. So the difference now is that for me to see how you're getting on, you would either do a comment and just let me know how things are going, or you can take a quick picture depending on what the exercise is, or you can do a small video and you can either add it to the comments, put it in the group somewhere, or you can obviously private message that to us if you'd rather not share it to everyone else. And then from there, what we can do instructor wise is give you feedback on what we see. So it might be you'd like to share how well your dog's done. We always love to see how dogs are getting on. So we love to see accomplishments. Or it might be that you want to check with us um, something that's not quite going right. So we've done an exercise, maybe we've taught heel position um, and you're having a little go at heel, but your dog's sitting a bit wide or they won't go around behind you, something like that. You can then video it show us what's going on and we can then say, right, let's just bring your hand round a bit further, slow you down a bit, swap the treat into a different hand, move out from where the sofa is. You know, we can give you feedback exactly the same way as you would in class. It's just, there's a little bit more of a time gap than being instant, okay? So that is the main difference. So let's have a look and see what exercises we're going to have a look at, shall we? Hmm? So these are silly, silly exercises just for a bit of fun. We've got people of all different training levels so this is just lighthearted but to show you how online works. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is I've got a little limpet shell that I got from the beach uh, last weekend with my dogs and I'm going to use this for something called a snoot. Okay, now a snoot, <laughs> off you get Merlin, snoot. Is that basically Ripley snoot and again snoot yes is where they stick their nose in something and hold it in place okay um, it's not you putting it on there you hold it still they put their nose in so how do we get to that stage first stage of a snoot is you need to be able to make a circle ideally with finger and thumb um, obviously I appreciate I've got very small dogs so bigger dogs might not be able to get their nose right through but they'll get close okay so all you're going to do is you're going to lure your dog like that and then let them take the treat so lure if I put the treat in through the circle off yes Let's, where is it yes and then treat as the nose goes through the middle there okay and then the more of that you do good snoot it's there, look, Merlin. It's there, Merlin. <laughs> yes. The more of that you do, yes, the more accurate they'll get, and then you can take the treat further and further away. This is actually a really good way to introduce your dog to muzzle training later on, so they start getting used to put their nose in something. So just to show you with Ripley, she loves a snoot. Good girl. So it's like that again. Let her get her nose in. Yes. Good girl. Just show you at the front a little bit more. <laughs> Ripley. Yes, good girl. Is there? Yes. Good girl. And then when they're putting their nose in regularly, you can give it a word. I say snoot because that's just the word that's been given to it quite popularly. Uh, but give it whatever word you want. And then you should be able to literally then ask snoot. Yes. Ripley, snoot, 
a girl, that's a funny one. And that's put your nose in something. So then when they can do that, we can move on to using a shell or anything you like. It could be a, a lid of some sort, you know, it could be a toy, whatever you want really. Oh, snoot. Good boy, do it properly. Good boy, off. Snoot. Yes, good boy. And Ripley, snoot. Yeah. I can't see. Snoot. Yes, good girl. There's a good girl. Yeah, you do it that way for me. Ready? Snoot, man. No. Snoot. Stop looking at me. Merlin, snoot. <laughs> you say so badly wants to say so badly wants to look at me. Snoot. Yes, good boy, that was better. Are you still eating that, darling? Ready, Ripley? Snoot. Yes, good girl. There's a good girl. Hopefully you can see that one. So, they, this was just a limpet shell. Anything that's, that your dog's nose can get into, basically. You could even use a muzzle if you're wanting to muzzle train. Or if you have muzzle trained, you could actually practice that. And it makes the muzzle nice and fun. Um, so, you've got snoot, nose in the, there like that. So, luring initially and then gradually having your treat further and further out. So, they put their nose in, then they get the treat after. And then move on to something. No, not yet, in a minute. Move on to something else. I know it's very exciting, isn't it? So that is going to be Snoot. Merlin's getting very excited. Now, if they can put their nose in something, then in theory they should be able to put their face in something. So we're going to move on now to a slightly different version of it. This is one I call hide your face, but again, it can be any word. What are you doing that you want? Now, my dogs have got a donut toy, which just fits their face quite well. But um, it, again, this can be anything. Anything that your dogs can put their faces through, basically. So it might need to be bigger than that. Um, if you've got a Christmas wreath, perhaps, you could do something like that. You could make something, um, but something that's, that's a roundish shape for your dogs. And all we do to start with, so a bit of luring again, is... <laughs> off you get, off, off, off. Is lure, so they put their nose through. They love doing this, as you can see. Right, Rippers. Good girl. Let them take their own face out if need, if they want to. Yes, good girl. So as you can see, I've got the treat my side. For them to put their faces through. Whip your mind out, baby. Good boy. <laughs> and then they can take their face out as soon as they've had the treat. They don't have to keep it in there. Yes, good girl. Yes. Okay. So then, if they're doing that quite regularly, you can then start changing what you say and ask them to do, actually do it on cue rather than luring. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Merlin, hide your face. No, not both of you. Yes, good boy. And hide your face. Yes. So there, Merlin's doing it on cue and actually facing away from me, which is quite a good one. And then Rippers, hide your face. Yes, good girl. Hide your face. Yay. Don't think we can see. Ready, hide your face. Yes, <laughs> hide your face. No, not your paw, hide your face. Yes, good girl, good girl. Okay, so again, a little bit of fun. Oh, hello, a <laughs> little bit of fun with your dogs. Um, again, can help towards things like muzzle training. Can help if they need to have harnesses put on and they're not too sure, you can use a harness if you want. Um, it can help if your dog eventually needs to have the buster collar on after an operation or anything because you can literally ask them to put it on and they'll be more comfortable with it. So it can be quite a handy one. Hide your face. <laughs> good boy. There you go. Hide it. And again. Yeah, good boy. Um, but that's just a fun thing to do. Hide your face. Yay. Hide your face, Rips. Hide it. Yes. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. It's a good pair, aren't you? So, another exercise. We can progress that even further. So my dogs <laughs> don't dress up very often. They tend to wear bandanas mostly, but they have got a little Christmassy scarf that they've been known to wear. So I've got two, thank you. I've got two sizes. So we're gonna use Merlin's one, because it's bigger. Get your mouth off you. And it's the same idea as we just did the donut. And again, this is just, depends on what you've got at home. It can be a, a collar, it can be a lead, you know, moved in half. 
it could be a bandana or a scarf of some sort. And again, back up a bit. You're gonna have the treat inside. So they put their noses into it. Off, and then if, off. I don't want you to eat it. Good boy, good boy. Can you get off again, please? Nelly. Good. And yes, good boy. That's very nice, isn't it? Ready? Wait. Good boy. And hide your face. No, hide it. Good boy. And you keep going until they put their head through by themselves, basically. Okay, so we do that again with Ripley. They're very exciting, you guys. Ripley. Good, so just getting them used to the feel of it on their face, first of all. Treating while the nose is in there. Good girl. What a good girl. And then gradually they have to put their nose a little bit further through before they get the treat. Hello. Yes. And then when they're really, really comfortable, which you can see mine are. Touch face. Good. And touch face. No. Yes. You can put it right on. And then you end up with your dogs looking ridiculously cute like that yes you do there you go clever play you're gonna back up for me good Ripley you back up good girl so a little bit of fun I expect to see some brilliant bandanas and things on your dogs at Christmas time coming up um, so the last one I'm going to show you is working on a touch okay using a coin so we teach a nose touch so if you're new to us and you haven't done uh, your beginner's class yet or you haven't finished it yet you will be learning something called a nose touch many of you who have been with us before have done this numerous times and all a nose touch is is literally touch is touching your hand with their nose touch yes okay so first thing we're going to do if you haven't done this before we're going to do this as a nose touch teach it as a nose touch okay so you're going to put the treat in your hand, close your hand, you're going to offer it to your dog and when they touch, you say touch and feed, okay? So the treat is in your hand, hand is closed, down to your dog's nose, touch and feed. So they will go to sniff it because they want to know what's going on and where the treat is. As they make contact, touch or target or focus or whatever word you want to use, open the hand up, treat, give them a fuss, okay? You'll find doing that a few times over a few days touch good boy ends up touch with a dog that really knows how to target your hand touch good girl got it Ripley <laughs> touch yes good girl and then they know what they're doing okay so that is all you're going to be working on if you're new to this for the dogs who have done touches numerous times in their life, we are then going to move on to a different item. So often we, we use all sorts of weird and wonderful things for a touch. We're going to use a coin today, something different, because it's metal, which is a bit weird for a lot of dogs, and it is smaller. So we want your dogs to focus on this and not on your hand. Okay, so you can start with a couple of touches, as I've just done with Merlin. Yeah, and then we're going to hold on to it with thumb and finger like this and I want him to target this and not me. Touch, good, and again, yes, good boy. So you know he's done it, because you end up with a wet coin where their nose has rubbed it, basically. Merlin, touch, touch, yes. So to continue, nose touch on a coin, because my phone decided to run out of storage and stop filming part way through. Um, so take your coin, offer to your dog, touch, Yes, and you only want, touch, yes, you only want them actually targeting the coin and not your thumb, okay, touch, yay, good boy, touch, yes, good, that was nice, um, if they get your thumb or your finger, that's not quite right, so we can just sort of say, oh, nearly, not quite, and ask for it again, Ripley, touch, good, good girl, that's a tiny one, and touch, yay, good girl, most delicate touches in the world, touch, come on, yes, Good girl. And touch. Yes. <laughs> what a clever girl you are. Very good girl. So, have a try of that. With your coin 
or if you don't want to use something quite so small you could try something like a coaster perhaps or something or you know a, a lid pringles lid good time to eat pringles um so that you've got something that's not your hand basically okay hello sweet pea um so that gives you four things to work on for this mini workshop a mini workshop mini online class um so you've got your um, snoot initially nose going through the the fingers there and then if they can do that try seeing if they can put their nose into something so i was using a shell but it could be the, the lid of a, um, you know, a bottle if you've got hold of it tightly something like that it could even be um, a toilet roll middle that would work quite well for a lot of dogs or kitchen roll middle um you've got the putting the head through something so like i said i was using a donut toy but it depends on what you've got at home um, to, to have your dog's heads through um, if you're teaching them to wear a harness or a car harness perhaps hello sweet pea then um, you could use that if they're learning to use a head collar you might want to use that um, so it's it's whatever works <laughs> bless her heart I'm just going to turn so that you can see what this little dog's doing she's just resting her I don't need you doing it at all come on then come then daddy oh that's so cute Yes, good girl, you're so good. Um, hello baby. Um, so you could work on that. We've got the scarves, putting their head through, so that could be a bandana, like I say. Again, that could be your harness, it could be um, you know any, any piece of equipment that you're using for your dogs or something silly like this. So I'm expecting your dogs to look fabulous. And then we've got the nose touch, so either teaching them a nose touch with a treat in the hand, offering it down to your dog, yes, good girl, and when they touch, so touch um, or if they know that one taking a coin or something small yeah good boy and ask them for the touch on something else okay so you've got plenty of options now you can give us some feedback so write a comment tell me how you're getting on did it work you know could you hear me okay um, did you like the exercises did your dog like the exercises most importantly um, you can post photos if you want to so it might be you caught your dog with the head through here that's fine um, you can send us a video so it might be to celebrate your dog's achievements we love celebrating dog's achievements so do share if your dog's getting on well um, or it might be that you're not quite getting where you should be with it your dog's not understanding you're not too sure if you're doing it right or you want to check that you're using an item that's safe um, or suitable pop us a video and we can let you know it might be we just need you to like I say move your hand a little bit further away or come out for the furniture a little bit but we can give you feedback that way um, and hopefully this helps to show um, people that haven't done online classes before how they're likely to run um, this is going to be the kind of format that we use over the coming weeks and um, probably not so much me sitting on the floor like this um, I'm going to be doing a lot of filming over it at Ardley um, in the next week or so so that we can get the whole length of the room so things like um, lead walking and heel work and things like that we can do properly and you can see them um, and I'll be using my dogs and, and hopefully another couple of dogs for that as well um, and if you've got any questions about online classes at all let us know um, it, they, you know, it does work I've done tricks classes like this for about six years um, I've done some of the senior dog challenges and some of the um, dog fitness challenges have been done online like this over the last sort of five or six years as well um, and, and you know it can work quite well but at the same time I appreciate that working online isn't for everyone isn't suitable for everyone so obviously if this isn't going to work for you then please let me know and we'll see what sort of options we can come up with for you okay so have a bit of fun with that with your dogs enjoy your weekend everyone and, uh, and take care of yourselves.